If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. And if you're looking for code cards, make sure you check out Poton Store. They have automatic email delivery and all the latest Pokemon TCG codes and you can use Tablemon code for 5% off. If you're from Europe, MealyBotsGaming.com is a great option to get your cards from. They have all sorts of sealed products, merchandise, and all the sets available from Pokemon Sun and Moon upwards, including the latest Hidden Fate set. Don't forget to use Tailmon code when checking out to get a further 5% off from your final purchase. and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to Teacher Worlds 2020. Thank you so much for joining me. We lost our streaming streak of two, but um, just I had important things to do. Um, usually I won't be able to stream on Wednesday anymore, but um, Monday, Tuesdays, um, Thursdays and Fridays should be fair game. So Nicholas, PokeJX, Girl Cup, thank you so much to everyone who's here. And now I wanted to go over the, the Charizard deck that got day two at LAIC. Um, it didn't do so well at, on day two, it ended up only getting top 128. But it was interesting for sure to see a Charizard deck um, being utilized, right, in the current format. We have the ability Roaring Resolve for this Charizard where we can put the damage counters on the Charizard and then search for two fire energies and attach them to this Pokemon. And then we have Continuous Blaze Ball, which deals 30 damage plus 50 more for each Fire Energy you discard, but you must discard absolutely all of them. Hello Ryan, thank you so much for being here. So, in order to accompany this Charizard, we have the 1-1. One, one. So that's a line with Rose Reveal to just draw extra cards. We have the 1 Ditto and 1 Ninetale, so essentially a 2-1 Salazzle and 1-1 one, one Ninetales for the Nine Temptations ability to make sure that we are targeting the right Pokemon. And then we also have a Heatran GX with the Burning Road ability. We can absorb energies that are in play, which synergizes nicely with the Charizard. And we have Steaming Stuff for a Solid 130 and Hot Burn GX. As our GX attack available in this deck to deal um, one hit KOs to potentially big tag teams as well. We have a Hoopa to help with Malmar. We are running a Jirachi engine and we have Mute to protect our bench. And then the trainers seem to be all over the place. Um, we have Fire Flints, we have Heat Factories, we have the Welder Engine of course, but then we also have Oak Setup to help with our setup and that is the reason why we are playing the Psychic Salazzle or Salandit rather, um, instead of the Fire one. We also have Rosa because it allows us to search for Rare Candy and Charizard immediately, which is really cool. And then we have Brock's Grid for Recovery, especially Energies. We also have the Energy Recycler. We have Tatum Lights up for Shuffle and for Switching. We have Fire Crystals, we have Grape Catcher. We have Search in the form of Pokegum and Rare Candy. And we have Switching Cards. Very few, but we don't have four Jirachi, I guess, and we're not trying to use Jirachi every single turn. Um, I don't know, the deck seems like it's trying to do everything at once and it might fail to do a lot of things. Um, I don't know what the matchups were for this player in Brazil, um, but the day to record I think should speak volumes in terms of like the, um, the potential of this deck uh, competitively against the top top tier decks and players. Um, it, it went through day one, but then in day two it didn't do so well, and I feel like um, against a well-prepared opponent, this would be a tough, um, a tough deck to utilize properly in order to to have a good win rate. Um, Trigan, Josh, thank you so much for being here. Elms is a better version of Charizard. Well, Elms can't find um, Elms can't find Chirachi though and Professor Oak setup can. So there's an argument for both. Yeah, there's an argument for both. Um, all right, so Tyranitar GX versus Charizard. So epic duel, my opponent just draw passes. So we start with the Oaks, that's pretty fantastic, with a Jirachi start, which is fan freaking fantastic. Uh, what's the other Pokemon I want here? Maybe another Jirachi? I guess that's fine. I could have, I should have searched for the, um, 
for the potential fire plant, uh, rather for the charmeleon. Um, so what's harder to find? I think the rare candy is gonna be overall much harder to find. Well, actually no. I think I grabbed the welder because I'm already holding the flint. And then I go flint, the salandit, and the tail on Liza. Just grab for fires, that way I get an energy attachment. We see that the charmeleon is in there, that the lazul is also in there. Our energy recovery methods are in there, so... Nothing super big being prized, one energy. Seems like we're in an okay spot, honestly. Seems like we're in an okay spot right here. Uh, we might see Pupitar into Tyranitar, not the end of the world. So what happens next turn? I go Welder. I need five energies on a Charizard to get a one hit KO on a 270 or 280 HP Pokemon, so that's not bad at all, actually. There we see a Sil Valley. So my opponent was holding a pretty sweet hand. Um, this reload for two, looking for that red and blue, I would imagine. Um, Itani, do I trade with yours? I can't trade any of the cards in this account. Remember, you asked me about this account. It's a demo account that's locked. It has everything, but it's locked. So even if I wanted to trade, I can't, because everything is locked. But maybe people in chat will want to trade. Alright, so now we definitely go Welder. We have a very good... Huh, maybe I should just Welder onto the new Charmander. So can I find Rare Candy? I can. So I can immediately just attack the Pupitar, which is really cool. I definitely should have Weldered onto a brand new Charmander. Um, so I think I just go for that, right? Do I just go for the KO? My opponent says well played. It's a new version of Ability Sard indeed. <laughs> this is technically a new version of Ability Sard, and then I don't see why I wouldn't KO it. Wait, what? Oh my gosh. I did not even read the <laughs> I did not even read the ability. I had no idea. Wow, okay, so that was a big oopsies, <laughs> I mean I, this is the first time I've played against Pupidar so <laughs> that was a big oopsies, big big oopsies. Just a meme deck. Well, I am worried because I made a big misplay right there. Yeah, I'm probably gonna lose because of that. I mean, generally, press one in chat if you actually knew what Pupiter did before this happened. I definitely didn't. <laughs> I definitely didn't. You did? You guys did know? Wow. <laughs> well. Wow, you did know what Pupitar did. Okay. That's fair. Well, I definitely did not know what was going to happen. Seems like my opponent whiffed energy? Did you see a new card with Zorak's ability? I did. You played against this person yesterday? Well, there you go. <laughs> That's one way to know what the cards do. Um, I did see the, the Minchino, it is, it is right, with Zorak's ability. So we're getting back trade and we're getting basic search, we're getting evolution search. So the game will definitely be getting a lot faster very soon. The game will definitely be getting a lot, a lot faster. Okay, so I wasted my three energies, but that's fine, I guess. Um... Hoopa seems like a solid attacker here. So definitely gonna discard the Oaks, get back that Welder. Although there's Merit to Tate and Lights as well. Okay, not bad, not bad at all. I'll definitely evolve here. And then I feel like I just go Roaring Resolve. Search for two fires. 
and do 130. I think that's okay, right? I don't need to attach. <sighs> Why does she keep saying well played? I mean, we have KO next turn on the active. Um, there's a Weavile and the discard pile. There's the other Weavile. I think we'll be fine. I think we will be a-okay. Everyone really needs the red and blue to evolve this Tyranitar and then transfer all the energy or potentially like retreat or something else. Wow. If she evolves that, yeah. So now she can't get any more energy into play, which is a very big deal. Okay, so I think we're still gonna be okay. Titar beats dolls. It lost zones, everything you KO, yeah, so you lost on the dolls, that is correct. Have I been playing Zern Shield? Yes, I have. I've been playing probably way too much. I even uploaded a VGC video on my channel. Are we gonna have a way to get it out though, Bird Boy? Yeah, there's there's a new like evol evolution instance or something that says search your deck for an evolution. And then there's a new um, quick wall, which says discard a card and find a basic, or we have elms, or we have oak setup, so there will be ways to find it. Alright. So I'm fairly sure that I should welder this guy. It's timer ball without flips, right? Yeah, it's the average of timer ball but without the flips, and that's absolutely fantastic. Right, so we're gonna roaring resolve. We still have energies in our deck. We have one left, so that's important to consider. Um, do I just go ahead and use it? Well, I have knockout on the active. I think I'll bench the other Charmander, and then we'll go continuous place ball. So that's enough for the knockout. I did need that extra energy, right? Yeah, 280 HP, I did need it. To get a fire, which we already had. So next turn I go, how many energies do I need? I need five to get a KO here. Yeah, I need five, which I do have right now. I just, I don't have fires left after that, but I do have Brock's Grid, I do have the energy cycler, so we'll see. We shall see. Yeah, exactly, Daltra. <laughs> exactly. No more Philly 2018. That was very sad. I believe Double Tails to not make the 2 at Philadelphia Originals. That was so sad. Um, but yeah, Sword and Shield is really, really fun. It's honestly really, really fun. I love it. And it inspired me to start VGC up again. I know, it's just, it's really fun. Just overall really, really fun. Okay, so I just go for the knockout, right? Promoting Jirachi would be silly because I'm done my switch and there's two escape ports only. So let's go ahead and do this. And then might as well use my ability, right? And then very few energy left in play for my opponent. Looking for the energy recycler, or at the very least, a Brox Grid for next turn. That would be pretty sweet. Energy Cycler would definitely be better. And okay, so I'm thinking I'll put back the Heatran for Nine Tails. Not Nine Tails, sorry, the Salazzo. That way I can find more cards this turn with Rose Reveal. All right, so there's another switch. I'll bench the Charmander. If I attach, I feel like I don't attach. I'm just gonna continue his place ball. All right, and by the way, a, a video log of Brazil just went up in case you guys wanna watch it. It is in Spanish this time around. Um, but you can add subtitles with closed captions that automatically translate. So in case you want to watch the Brazil video log itself on the channel right now. Um, you remember seeing it runs the wrong Charmeleon, the 90 HP one is better. Uh, I mean, does it even matter? What does the 90 HP one do? Parker may 
may play a VGC tournier on few this year. That's awesome, Josh. That's awesome. VGC is very fun. Very, very fun. And the game is like, it's very nice and easy-ish to to get Pokemon, so should be should be fun. Yeah, should be fun. Like if I bomb San Diego, I might just decide to play VGC in Dallas instead. <laughs> Don't make me play Charizard for Daytona, you're making it look too good. I mean, <laughs> you have to look at the quality of the opponent though, like the, the deck though. I'm not saying she's bad, I'm saying that's definitely not a very serious deck to consider. 90 HP one has an attack that does 30 plus burn for 2 energy, which is technically relevant for Jirachi. That is true actually. That is actually true, Orange Rabbits. That is a good argument to use a 90 HP one. What is the temperature in Mexico? The temperature in Mexico right now is 11 degrees centigrade. So that's 11 centigrade to Fahrenheit is 51 or 52. So it is pretty cold right now. It is pretty cold right now in Mexico and that's why you see the, the hoodie. Okay, so I didn't even get KO'd. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch. I'm going to attach that. Okay, so I'm going to Rose Reveal. I really need a rare candy. There we go. Fire Flint. That's not quite what I want. But still wish. There we go. That's... Yeah, I think that should be game, right? That should absolutely be game. Because I go Energy Recycler. Put back 5 of my 12 fires into the deck. And then I go Rare Candy, and then I go Roaring Resolve, attach two of those fires, and then I go Fiery Flint, doesn't matter what I discard, as long as it's not two Welders, and then I go Welder. And then I go attach, and then I go retreat, and I will continue this place ball. And there we go. I could have even KO'd my own Charizard indeed to save the switch. I have it 10 degrees warmer than where you are. Okay. Is this expanded? No, this is not expanded actually. It is standard. All right. <laughs> That's pretty cool, Orange Rabbit. I mean, yeah, it's it's not a bad deck at all. It's not a bad deck at all. It just it requires so much setup that it's sometimes hard to to justify, right? Okay, and I'm actually wearing a Tablemont hoodie. It's not just any jacket. It's a Tablemont hoodie. Look, it's a Tablemont hoodie. I usually wear these at tournaments as well. You can get it on Amazon. <laughs> uh, I would like to go first, thank you very much. You thought rare candies weren't in standard? No, they definitely are. They most certainly are. Okay, so now this sort of hand is what makes you question life and why <laughs> why you're playing this deck, right? Um, no, we don't celebrate Turkey Day in Mexico. We don't celebrate Thanksgiving in Mexico. Um, well, like some people do, right? Um, I've never personally celebrated it. Um, so no, today is just a normal day for me. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Hello, Turbo Darkness. Thanks so much for being here. Where do you get one? Same place as where you got the shirt, Ryan. On Amazon. They're on Amazon. I'm pretty sure they're still up there. Let me double check for you, but I'm pretty sure you can get a Tablemon hoodie on Amazon. If you just search Tablemon on Amazon, yeah. They are right there. The two Tablemon shirts and then you can get a Tablemon hoodie as well. <laughs> you just need to search for table one on Amazon and you'll find them. And hello, Color Diamond. Yeah, this this is exactly that deck. 
Dracula diamond, the non-GX Charizard that made it to at LAC. That is exactly what you are seeing right now. <laughs> That's cool, Jesus. Uh, so, two years ago, um, I don't remember what regional it was. 2017 or 2018? 20, 2017, I'm pretty sure. I did go up to the United States for Thanksgiving. Maybe it was last year. I don't maybe, yeah, I think it was last year actually. Um, so I had like the whole turkey and everything, and it was really fun. Yeah, it's a very nice um, celebration. There's always things to be thankful for. Yeah, San Jose. Was that 2017 or 2018? I feel like it was 2017, right? Yeah, it must have been 2017, I think. Yeah, 2017, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so we're not KOing that Jirachi. Mm, I guess because of Heatran I should have Weldered and Attached last turn, maybe. Um, so I guess I'll start doing that now, but I could have 4 energy in play instead. Yulon Vision is not even enough to KO here. Lusamine? Why would you play Lusamine? 2016 was Fort Wayne, 17 was San Jose. Yeah, so then it was definitely in 2017. Hello, Alex. <laughs> How are you doing? It was definitely in 2017 then. All right. So... Goes out into the other Jirachi, the Malolana. Is my opponent, did my opponent whiff the energy? Maybe. Or like, why would you, like, what would you be searching for so badly that you double, you double Stella Wish there and use up two switches? No, I have no idea. Okay, so there's gonna be the GX attack, which is a problem based on our super, super slow setup. What do I think the meta for Daytona will be? I mean, a lot of Ability Reshi, a lot of Mew Mew, um, a lot of uh, ADP. I think those should be the top three decks, and then Sprinkle in Guardian, Sprinkle in... Um, what else? PG, Dolls, all those sort of things. Alright, so I'm doing some damage here. 70 and then 100 and then 100 that's not enough to get a KO I don't think I can afford to promote the Jirachi afterwards um, Because then like I'm promoting Jirachi just to search for a switching card. So that doesn't make much sense Being 10 short of the knockout on the Heatran is pretty big Because then I can go 100 and then GX for the knockout uh, What's the strike on my opponent definitely has enough things set up to where um, we can just win the game in the next three turns, hopefully four, if we can use Heatran, but it's not looking great. It's not looking super great. Oh, so my opponent decides to take the initiative. Uh, well, it doesn't change much, I don't think. RMF, thanks so much for the follow. VMAX months final revealed. Which ones am I excited about? Um, I don't think any of, like, I really like the art of Lapras, but... They seemed a little underwhelming. Like maybe there will be more support for them later, but I I wasn't particularly excited about the cards. I was excited about like the art on them. Um, do I think the Jiro Control is tier one or two? I think it's definitely tier one. Like it's so powerful that people have to actually go out of their way to tech for it with things like the Cryogonal. All right, so interesting. I'm just like, I'm playing a theme deck right now. If I just go Hotburn GX. Yeah. <clears throat> this is so bad. Double Malo Lana in the discard pile. When, ha wait, how, how did that happen? How did that actually happen? The issue is I don't have a follow up to this. My opponent gets three prizes and two, then 
pretty much dead. They are rebranded EX months with more HP. Basically, hello Kevin. Um, like they're, yeah, V Max. I mean V. The Pokemon are rebranded GXs with more HP, and now we have um, the V Max, which are the evolutions, right? So, I think I recall like saying at some point that the V Max or the Gigantamax and Dynamax were just gonna be like evolutions to the current GXs, and that's exactly what they are. Need to have another table on Invitational with seniors and juniors division, Ryan. <laughs> That'd be cool, but. Okay, so the table invitational, it's it's about the show, right? So um, the issue with that is like, I need players to record their games for that to be, um, for the invitational to work, you know? So if like juniors and seniors, I feel like are probably um, not super likely to be able to record a lot of their games. Okay, finally. Finally, we topped it something. Useful after just draw passing. It's amazing that my opponent just hasn't beaten me already. Um, I'll go evil admonition. One ability short the whole time. You see, a skateboard on the Jirachi, a skateboard on the other Jirachi. Is my bench just gonna attack me again? Yeah, I guess he doesn't lose anything by doing so. Will Firebirds make a showing in Daytona? Probably. Yeah, Baby Gloss Cephalon with Pidgeotto should definitely be a popular deck as well. Not sure how popular, but definitely popular. sure that's game right because I just evolve maybe get a knockout but nothing can tank a hit anymore from this guy so then my opponent just wins for the last try so I mean I guess I'll try <laughs> I guess I shall try so let's go ahead and thin and then we go welder I'm just doing this for fun right like I've I've 100% lost the match right here. Um, will I even be able to evolve? I will. I will be able to evolve. And so that's enough, right, for the knockout. But with a super, super, super underwhelming start we had, we weren't even going to beat like a theme deck or anything. So, wrong resolve. And then, I <laughs> don't even have all the energies there. And continuous placeful for whatever, and then we lose. Do we finally get a good Moltres? No, not quite. Si, definitivamente perdido, Dani. Perdidísimo. ¿Tienes algún mazo que te realmente guste jugar mucho? Pues creo que Mewtwo es el que más disfruto, eh, aunque a veces es frustrante, pero creo que Mewtwo es el que más me gusta porque es muy versátil. All right. Right. So let's try once more. Right, we got a win against a not so competitive deck. We got pummeled by a very competitive deck. So now let's see what happens here. Or let's try again, rather. Let's try it yet again. Alright, so we win the coin flip. And we're gonna start Jirachi. Is the music okay by the way? Like the sound versus versus my voice. I hope it is. I'm sure you guys would have said otherwise if it wasn't, but 
So we have Oaks, we have Welder, we have Jirachi, so now this is a much more playable hand. Much more playable. The opponent might be AFK. And thanks so much, Vex Mello, for the follow. Alright. Don't need to bench anything else. We just saw a Tertonair Magnatel Magnatel deck recently in Alico. I tried that out, but it just it wasn't very good, honestly. It just wasn't great. Um <laughs> Mnemonic Sync. Muchas gracias, que bueno que te gustó el vlog. Felicitaciones a los Brave Birds. Muchas gracias. Les paso. Les paso el mensaje. <laughs> El proyecto Brave Birds, la verdad es que sí, sí pinta muy bien. Ok, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this, and I'll grab these three. Right, that seems solid. I should have checked for the Sal Salazzle and the uh, Ninetales. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine, guys. Uh, still a wish for... Potentially switch to get the initiative. Don't think we need Welder, because we already have one. And then I'll pass, in case I need to Welder to draw cards, right? Alright. Okay, so we're up against Ability Rashi. Goodbye, Jirachi. Um, if I had attached, I still wouldn't have a knockout here. So what's the plan? I feel like I hold... Well, okay. I promote that guy. Fire Flint is useful. So I can go ahead and do this. Just grab four fires, right? All right, so I feel like I go that nine tails worries me though, but not much I can do about it. I'll go welder close, close, but not quite. All right, so now I'll go Stella Wish for. Pokegum. Alright, so let me think this through. In terms of my energies, I need five, right? And then if I go attach here, I can still get five on this Charizard. I won't get five on this one. So I need to hope that my opponent doesn't have nine tails plus. Two fires plus KO Charmander. And if that doesn't happen, then we're okay. Right? Then we are okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Fixmel. That's really kind of you to say. Really, really kind of you to say. I think you should have gotten the comps to get Salazzle. I got the comps, right? But I don't want to get Salazzle right now. Oh my gosh. Already nine tails. There's the well there. Oh, come on. <laughs> Are you seeing this? This is like what happened the other day. This is exactly what happened the other day with um, Green Sword against Ability Reshi. I just like... That one is just so perfectly. So, so perfectly. Just raw back-to-back -back welder, all the energies needed, no stadium, no surge, no nothing. Just drawing everything. What do you do? It's super frustrating because that doesn't happen to me. But anyway, 
Anyways, we'll we'll try and pull through still. We shall try and pull through. All right, so we're not gonna KO this turn, but we do need to attack this guy. Ah, if only we had a welder. Anyways. So I go Rosa for Rare Candy, Charizard, and Fire. No, not Rare Candy. I go Rosa for Charizard, Rosa, oh, it's Prime. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. So welder then? Well no, okay, so now I get Zalazzle, because I need the extra draw. Oh jeez. Oh boy. Alright, so let's go evolve this person. And then let's go Rose Reveal. So I'm not gonna kill this turn, definitely. <laughs> All the rare candies. But I don't have a Charmander. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Focus. Very candy. You can still get carried with high roll. Yeah, it's, it, it wasn't going to happen. I mean, okay, so I guess that Lazzle is gonna be the follow up KO. Oh no. Hmm, no, never mind. I need to attach to the active and then welder to this guy. Because now I'm dealing 180 and that's not enough. Ugh. I mean, I I lost the game last turn when my opponent had perfect two-turn setup every time. Yeah, I needed a Charmander or Charmeleon, but if I got that, then I would have relied on Jirachi, and it's just drawing two rare candies off of a Welder of three. I mean, off of a Rose Reveal for three. It's like, ugh. Now I need Heatron, I guess. Heatran is my only saving grace here. Heatran is my only possible saving grace. Heatran is my only possible save. Look at that! Turn on Welder, turn to Welder, turn through Welder, turn to Nightail. Turn to, it's like... <laughs> I never draw like that, ever. All right, so I'm fairly sure I need Heatran. Does this list play Victini? No, it does not actually. Okay, so there's Heatran. There's Heatran, so that's something. So touching here might not have been the worst thing. All right, so let's go Pokegums. Even plays Fion, yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four abilities. That's ninety damage. Oh, so Hoopa gets a knockout as well. So maybe I just grab Charmander instead. There's no Charmeleon, so hmm. Well, Hoopa does get return KO'd by Victini. Whereas Heatran doesn't. So I think I'm gonna go all in on the Heatran. I think I'm just gonna go all in on the Heatran. Not ideal, but I mean I can use Hoopa, I can still use Hoopa, but I feel like I'd rather use Heatran because Heatran possibly survives the Victini hit. Whereas Hoopa definitely doesn't. Right, Hoopa definitely does not. Jeez. Oh, um, okay, so Steaming Stomp, we even up the price straight off. Can my opponent get 10 energies into this Carpal? He already has 6. So he needs 4 more. He can retreat 9 tails for 1 more. So then he needs 3. 
So he's thinking about it, but also debating on whether Jirachi in the active is worth it. He does promote the Nine Tails. And I'm only... ¿Cuál es mi opinión de la penalización a Brian? La verdad es que no creo que tenga la información suficiente para poder eh, opinar. Si tenía micas marcadas y es a propósito, lo hubieran descalificado. Si eran, si parecían micas marcadas, pues era tan sencillo como cambiarle las micas antes de la final y listo. Entonces creo que sí fue demasiado, demasiado fuerte la penalización, pero... Pero la verdad es que no entiendo qué criterio utilizan. Parece que el criterio para cada decisión termina siendo diferente, entonces... Alright, so my opponent does use Fion. So I think I give up on the Ditto? Yeah, I think I just give up on the Ditto. So, big teeny. Okay, so now that my opponent benched that Heatran, we have a... Well, we could always target the Tete Tene, right? So it seems like my opponent is definitely running out of options a little bit. Uh, you think the Hoopa play was correct? He had Fion anyway, meaning your Heatran was never the target, and he could have set up a Charmeleon Charmander last turn. Yeah, that's that's a good argument. I did not I did not consider the possibility of the Fion, but I feel like No, yeah, I think you're right. I do think you're right. Um, I think I'm still in an okay spot though, especially if I find the Great Catcher. I can't risk promoting the Jirachi though. I could use Heatran this turn if I find a switch. I mean, the Hoopa this turn. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I could use Hoopa this turn, making it even harder for my opponent to win. But if I... If I find the Great Catcher... Oh, the great catcher is not even in. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's already gone. Along with my ditto. Okay, so actually. So never mind. Drawing cards. I'm just gonna go ahead and Professor Oak set up. And then I'll Rose Reveal. Okay, energy recycler and welder, that's not terrible. I think I just attack, right? Or do I retreat and attack with the Hoopa? Maybe I retreat and attack with the Hoopa, actually. Yeah, that actually seems better. It requires my opponent to have even more cards to beat me. So he needs Welder, which he's out of. He needs Welder, which he's out of, and he also needs two energies for Ninetales, which, like him fi finding the Palpat for him, should be pretty difficult. 
Um, hmm. Actually, as long as he attaches to Heatran two turns in a row and then has double. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we've lost. Yeah, maybe the Heatran play was actually not right. Did I support her? Yes, I used Oak setup to establish the charm in there. Yeah, I think I lose. I think I lose now. Because my opponent will have enough energies to go attach. Because I can't do anything to a Heatran. I can't target anything on the bench. My Ditto was sacrificed. If I hadn't sacrificed the Ditto, then... Oh, so many mistakes, I guess. Well, he does need a switching card, still. Oh, decides to use the Nine Tails right now. Or the Heatran. Don't particularly agree with that. I don't think. Alright, so I'm gonna Energy Recycler. Putting back all these fires. I do need a fire. I mean, two fires right here. Plus the Welder, or I need a switch. Hmm. This is tough. I think I heat factory. Okay, I got two fires. That's good. So I my welder. Oh. oh. <laughs> good morning, Major Ryan. Happy Thanksgiving. What do you think of Sword and Shield in terms of the GC side of things to your advantage? I think it's actually really cool. I think it has a lot of potential. Okay, so if I, huh, if I GX, he needs exactly switch and fire, right? If I GX, he needs exactly switch and fire. <sighs> so I go for it, right? Otherwise I lose. Yeah, I go for it. Now he needs switch and fire to win. Couldn't get rid of the stadium because I have my own heat factory. He needs switch and fire to win. Switch and fire. So certain shield in terms of EGC, it seems really cool. The one thing I don't like is that since every Pokemon can Dynamax, um, it's really hard. To, like battles become super unpredictable. Super, super unpredictable. Uh, but overall, it's definitely very fun. Definitely very, very fun. And I would recommend anyone who, who's willing to give VGC a try. Sword and Shield is the, the time to do so. It's never been easier to like get battle-ready Pokemon. Everyone's talking about it. Every time. Every time. Oh, no. He doesn't have a GX. What am I thinking? Why didn't you guys tell me? <laughs> he didn't have a GX attack available. I did not realize that. I did not realize that. Why didn't you guys tell me? He didn't have a GX attack available. I was so worried for nothing. No. <laughs> I didn't get an energy. Okay. I need a fire crystal. Which is definitely bottom bottom card. <laughs> oh boy. I was so scared of the GX attack. Of a GX attack that did not exist. I was so scared of a GX attack that did not actually exist. So we win this incredibly close game. Wow. That was intense, to put it lightly. That was very, very intense. But all right. I am very happy with that win. I am very, very surprised. Why didn't I Brock's Grit? I generally thought I had two energies left. I generally thought I had two energies left off of that um, for the Rushy ability. But we also knew I had some all the switching cards and the uh, fire crystal and my deck was also in that. Yeah, but I should have Brock's then burning result, a hundred percent. A hundred a hundred percent. 
All right, so that's Charizard for you. It's a crazy deck. Like those were my first three games of Charizard, right? So definitely I'm gonna make less than optimal plays just based on deck knowledge, um, lack of practice. But the more you play with a deck, the more familiar you get with it. And those sort of things like knowing exactly um, how many energies are left, etc. that seems very important, right? So that's something to consider when moving forward with, um, with the deck. Yeah, so that's my disclaimer. These are the first three games I've ever played with the deck. Um, with this current build of the deck and definitely i'm making mistakes but the important thing is that we recognize them you know you you are recognizing them um as well so it's like we have a, a huge uh 55 people brainstorm of me and chat where we get to um analyze things and either say yeah Pablo, you made the right play or no this was a mistake and this other play would have been better and that's how you learn right instead of always thinking oh no this was better this was better right or this was the only way to go about it um so yeah i will be right back with our next deck which will be pitchy control um don't go anywhere if you're live with me on twitch i'm just gonna put a quick commercial break and if you're watching on youtube don't forget to leave a like it really helps the channel and check out our sponsors, TCG Player, Millibots Gaming, and Poton Store, where you get discounts and you get to support the channel for free over at TCG Player. Be right back.